Welcome back everyone, it's Ethan on Encoder, and we are back with another episode of Let's Build Twitter. In this episode, we actually go back and allow ourselves to navigate backwards inside of our modal, that way we can go back to different steps and change some information. So let's go ahead and hop into VS Code. I'll let you guys know how we did this. Let's go ahead and make this registration modal a little bit prettier. The first thing that you'll see inside of Twitter's is that it has a thing on the top that kind of just says, hey, look at this um, button to go forward and backward. So that's the next component that I wanna work on. Let's go ahead and make a new folder inside our components. We're gonna call this registration step counter, I suppose. And then let's go ahead and close out of some things that we don't need for the time being, just to clean that stuff up. We're gonna make a new file, call this, make sure it's in the right spot. New file, registration, step counter, dot TSX. And let's go ahead and close this, R-F-A-C-E, and import that. Well, cool. The only thing that we do need to make sure we say is this does need to be a react.fc. I don't believe this one takes any props at the moment, but we'll see. So what we want to do is we do need to go ahead and import a couple of things. Go ahead and we need to import our different icons. So we need clear rounded from mature UI. We want arrow back rounded also from material UI slash icons. Awesome. And then we also want to go ahead and figure out the step. So this is gonna be passed in from other data. So we're gonna say interface, and we could export this, but um, I'm just gonna keep it in here. We're gonna say register step props, and we are going to go ahead and say step is equal to number. Now, what we want to go ahead and do is create our container for this guy. So class name, I always say um, red. So we'll say reg step counter container. And we're not gonna have any crazy backgrounds or anything. We are going to go ahead and say div class name equal to um, reg step dash counter dash btn and then inside here will be our display icon so um, this is a method we have to write whoops need to write this method in the utils and then we're also going to have a span in here with a class name equal to red step dash number. This is gonna say step, take in that value of six. Now, of course, we forgot to pass in these props. Let's go ahead and do that. So this is gonna take in those register step props like so. And then this also needs to say step and that will fix that issue. So right now it's not really doing much. What we'll have to do, go ahead and write the util to figure out which step we're on or what to display in here and then kind of go from there. Now inside of here, I'm going to go ahead and make a utils folder inside of register. So a new folder utils and I'm going to make a new file and I'm going to call this um, register step utils dot tsx I suppose and what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to say export const export default const there's only going to be one thing in here and this is going to be called display icon so now this is going to take a step which is the number and this is going to spit out a JSX element. Go ahead and create this. And make sure I do this correctly. And I guess um, 
we'll just export const, I guess, and then we can import it, it's fine. So now this is just going to essentially be a switch case on whichever step. So a few things that we need to mention is certain steps have different icons. And I guess I probably should have imported the icons in this one and not the registration step. So let's go ahead and grab these icons from here because I'm not actually using them in here. And let's actually use them inside of here. Case one, if we take a look, remind myself to edit this in in post-production, what it looks like here, this is going to be a clear round or close out. So we're going to say return clear rounded. And we're going to do a little bit of things here. So we're going to set the font size, font dash size. Actually, it's like this font size colon 25. All right. So that is case one. Case two is going to return arrow back rounded again sx is going to be 25 case three is going to be arrow back once again let's go ahead and copy that case four is going to be just nothing once you get to step four you're not allowed to go back so it's just going to be empty case five is going to be arrow back once again and then case six is going to be nothing once again you can't go anywhere and then finally case default is going to once again be nothing we want to return and return so again we're just pulling this out of here to unclutter our actual component and there we go so now what we need to do is come back into our step and we need to import that so import and we want to import display icon from dot slash or dot dot slash dot dot slash utils slash register step utils and what we'll do is we will display display icon with the step Whenever we look right now, we're not gonna see anything because we need to go ahead and throw that inside of our register step modal. So inside of our register modal, go ahead and open that up. So register modal.tsx, and we need to go ahead and import. And maybe we should have done this differently. Maybe the modal should have been the, the farther part and then we should have had register modal be the outside. Let's actually change that. So let's do this instead. So we'll go ahead and close this and delete this, put this here and then we'll say div class name equal to, I forgot what I called this, but I think it was register dash container. And we need to import uh, whatever it's called, register step counter. And now in here, we'll have our register step counter, and this needs a step, step, equal to one, for example. So save. Now it's not gonna look pretty, or it's not gonna work at all, apparently, because it's gonna be broken, I guess. My console, just compiling, so give it a second. There we go. Now let's check again. It's not gonna look pretty, but you see our X, you see our step one of six. So now what we need to do is go ahead and style that step to make it look a little bit nicer. So let's go ahead and make the CSS for the register step. Go ahead and say new file, register, step counter dot CSS. This is going to be uh, fairly simple. We have a couple things here. I do need to make sure I name these correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look at what I call this. So the first one is the container. Let me go ahead and move this. So dot this container and our container is going to have a Z index of higher than one. So I'm just going to put two. Our width is going to be 100% of the parent the display will be flex. The flex direction will be row. 
So it's going to go side to side. The align items will be center. And the padding will be 16. Before we see any difference, we're going to have to go ahead and import the CSS. So go ahead and import dot slash. And this is registration counter dot CSS save. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to compile. But now you can see that it's in a row. We have some padding. It looks much better. So the next thing we need to go ahead and do is do the top button or the reg step counter button. And let's go ahead and go into the CSS. We'll deal with this one. So now this one is also going to have a Z index of two. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to click on it. The height is going to be 40 pixels. You'll see why in a second. The width is going to be 40 pixels. Again, you'll see why in a second. The display will be flex. The margin right is going to be a little bit higher. Margin right is 40 pixels. And then finally, we're going to justify content center and align item center. Save and go ahead and take a look. It's not going to be much different. We just have a little bit of space in between. Now, if you were ever to look at Twitter, it's actually whenever you hover over it, it has a little bit of like a circle. So we do want to go ahead and add that circle in. And then I think we need to go ahead and change the font of the text. So let's go ahead and fix the hover of the button. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab this and add hover to the end. Cool. It's going to be the same thing again. Z index of two. It's going to have a background color and we're going to do RGBA and this is going to be zero 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 dot one. So it's going to be very, very faint. It's going to have a border radius of 100%. So it's going to be a complete circle and the cursor is going to be pointer. That way the user knows that they can put, click on it essentially. So now if we come back in here, when we hover over, you see we have our nice shaded effect. Looks nice. You know you can click on it. So the final thing is doing the text. So we're going to say dot reg and I forgot what we called this. So go ahead and say reg step number. And this is how we're going to make it pretty. So dot reg step number. And we're just going to change the font. We want a margin of zero. We want a padding of zero. We want to get rid of all that padding font family. Hopefully this works as expected is going to be Ubuntu. And this is a sans serif. We'll see if it actually um, imported correctly. I might have to do a little bit more work to get this to import. And then we're going to have a font weight of 500. And we are going to have a font size of 20 pixels because that is what Twitter uses. So now we see step one out of six. We come in here and we change the number inside of our register modal. So let's say now we're on step two and click save. If we go to here, we can see now it's a back arrow. If we go ahead and say step six, for example, we should see nothing. Now we see nothing. This is still a bug. We're going to have to work out and I'll show you guys how to fix that in a later episode. But now we have the top of our modal finished. Unfortunately, that's going to be it for today. If you guys enjoyed, please stick around for the next episode by hitting that subscribe button. You'll know exactly when it comes out, especially at that bell icon. If you did enjoy the content today, please sure leave a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, leave a thumbs down. Either way, it helps out with the algorithm all the same. And finally, if you have any suggestions or feedback for me, make sure you leave a comment down below. With that being said, I appreciate you all for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Peace out, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.